um, I'm not trying to collect them. And I told David, I was like, well, maybe I should collect them. Cause now this makes six that I have. <laughs> y'all welcome to another haul video um this one is going to be from what we picked up at round top we went just two days and so i'm combining it all together my first day was better than the next day the the next day that we went anyhow if you are not subscribed already let me just throw that in here please consider doing so because we do uh, shop alongs, haul videos, and live sales every Wednesday at 1 and 7 <laughs> p.m. Central Time. So um, maybe you can join us for those. And I did get some pretty fun stuff this time. I think so. I think so. It's all a matter of what Tam Tam is keeping and selling, right? <laughs> you know, I buy one for me, one for you, two for me, one for you, three for me, one for you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Anyways, let me show you the fun things I got. There is a stuffed animal out there that I'm looking for for me. And I'm having, I, I probably won't never find it. But, um, I love looking at stuffed animals, especially if they're vintage. What is he? He has blonde hair and a blue body. Little monkey. Ain't he cute? He's got the, the rubber face, rubber ears, and the cloth body. He is so cute. We are not monkeying around. <laughs> He's so soft. He's in great condition from what I can tell. So, he gonna sit right here and watch all of y'all. So, I got a Kokeshi doll. I found it. You know, I always hope that at least I find one Kokeshi doll on Round Top Trip. This one, she's going in my collection. I don't have one with an umbrella, but she's gonna be mine. Then we found this large compote green beauty isn't that pretty oh this will look really nice with all the glass if you collect glass very nice piece nope don't know the name of it don't know who's the maker nope i just got it because i liked it it's pretty And it feels great. I'm not feeling no chips or cracks anywhere. So, beautiful green compote. What is it, candy dish? What I assume. And then I got a Women's Day magazine from 47, 1947, December. Just you know, all the fun stuff of the old articles and the old advertisements. That's just, that's what we like, right? What do you do with your magazines? You get them, you keep them to read, you know, you use them for a coffee table or do you tear them up for a junk journaling? Or do you actually make the recipes that are inside there? What do you do with your magazine? David found this little yard piece. Nice and patina, a boy pushing a wheelbarrow, stick it in the ground. So, little yard piece. This, I want this to be my margarita glass. Look at all this green glass I got today. Well, that I picked up at Round Top. This is fabulous. Now, this is my second um, brandy sniffer that I have found and picked up. 
I've seen them before, but I've never picked them up until recently that I'm like, I see them enough. I'm starting to like that. So I'm going to start picking them up. So I have a purple one you should have seen in one of my hauls. And then this one, and it's pretty tall. I mean, these two would, do these go together? Do they look nice together? Really neat. And look at this cool thing. I just love this. If I don't keep it, my daughter will. This is fabulous. Let's see, is this anything? Oh, there is a tag on here. It's made in China. I don't care. It's dirt, dusty and dirty. But uh, I'm gonna clean this up and I'm gonna find a place for it. If my daughter don't come and steal it. It's huge. I love it. I love mushrooms. <laughs> They're so fun. But it does say made in China, little sticker. But you know, we buy what we like. We like what we buy. And this is one of them. <laughs> Doesn't have to be old for me. Love it. And then I got these two little candle holders. I am here where I cannot, don't have much light. Was that Germany? Oh, that's nice. I thought it was Japan actually. Got these beautiful bird candle holders. They are dirty. The booth that I went to for these, I mean, you always have to clean your stuff that you get from there. And it looks like he, they're frog holders as well. I don't know, I, I could be wrong, but there was two of them. Look, there's little holes here to put more flowers in and a candle. You tell me, very bright colors, very nice. From Germany, white on the back side. But I think they're very sweet looking and about this tall. Love the colors, that green and orange. So we picked those up. David got this glass. This was actually on the dollar table, but David got this for him because it was a single, single glass. It's gonna be one of his drinking glasses for the show. It's very dirty right now, but it's got fishies on it. Ain't that cute? <laughs> He's gonna drink like a fish, yeah. And here he got these this is um amethyst i don't know if you can see through the red the purple or whatever color it looks like red right here but it's the amethyst vase black vase it's about this tall this is david's pickings i think he found these at the same little junk table this one has a silver around it little urn vase so he got these because david and his black glass i got these mugs you know i don't i hate picking up mugs but you know when i find cute ones and good deals on top of that i have to get them i love the little flowers they're the stoneware mug they got the the specs it looks like the stoneware but there's, let's see, they are not marked, but they're pretty cool. Tall cocoa mugs or, you know, whatever you use your mugs for. I like them. And then I have a little mushroom towel that has a crochet on the top that you can hang from your stove or your, you know, cabinet door or something. I love getting these. Anything with mushrooms on it, we love to pick up. I have some ticking fabric that I picked up because I like to do those with my pillows. I got this vintage fabric. Nice flowers. Love the brightness colors, bright colors of it all. This is a, a thicker fabric, like not a bark cloth, but close to it. Nice colors. And I got this one, it's folded inside out, but this is a um, double knit fabric. 
you're like, who picks that up anymore? I have a whole bunch of it. Just saying. I have a lot of double knit. I like this. It looks denim with the blue dot, I mean, red dots. But I'd like to try to make little fun summer outfits for my grandkids, my granddaughters. And it's okay if it's warmer because they're just little short outfits and halter tops. And then I picked up this. And I'm trying to remember where I got this from. I'm sitting there, I, could, I can't remember. But it's fish, it is a thicker canvas um, fabric. Like, like a, almost like an upholstery, it would work for that because it's thick. And I got this caddy, little donkey caddy. Um, I don't have this one yet. I have accidentally started a collection of the dresser caddies. And this one's a donkey, I haven't seen him, so I kind of wanted to pick him up. And I thought it had the wiener dog, but I don't. And there's a pelican I'm looking for. But I have like three different colors, kangaroos and a monkey, which is pretty cool. The monkey and something else I cannot think of. But now we have a donkey. You put your change in there, your wallet goes here, your watch goes down there, um, hangs off or your rings. So he's fun. I think it's fun how they made that kind of stuff back in the, those days. And here I have a little naughty, naughty book. Cartoons for the John. And it's, I'm covering it up because, you know, I'm being a, kind of trying to be discreet for it, but a little funny book of cartoons is paper cartoons. Yeah, you're not gonna get to see it up close. You have to, you either have to look it up to know or, you know, and it's a thick book. It has a chain where you can hang it right there in the bathroom. So, um, it's funny. There's some funny stuff. I'm not going to be able to show you that live either, I don't think. Then we have here some little candle uh, covers. I thought these were nice. You put them over your candlestick like this, and it catches the wax. So, I have two and the clear. Now, this is, these are plastic. They're night glass. I do believe they have them in glass too. But these are plastic, pretty fun. I thought it was really cute. I learned about these when I was with Margo. Um, but I also have, have it in green. And it's a pear. A pair in green and they are also plastic little wax catcher that you put on your candle candlesticks now I have this fun little planter now I'm sure it needs to be cleaned up it's got some I don't know if that's glaze or just something dripping off of it, it needs to be cleaned up it um, can it looks like you can hang it by a rope or chain as well because it has the hose here. And this would be really cool for ivies or succulents coming out. And it's a little small round planter. Would also fit in like in your windowsill or something. But I always love these kind of planters. I should have my daughter set me up one like that. I bet it's really pretty, but I'm not great at keeping plants alive. Now here we have a pink glass ashtray or a cigarette holder or just a tr trinket dish. I assume it's probably a cigarette with a dibbit there. I don't know if it's coming off very pink with you. It is a pinky peach color. Um, it's about this big. I don't know if this is some name brand piece of glass. I don't know yet, haven't checked into it. Um, 
glass I'm learning about y'all. I am learning my glass or trying to remember <laughs> the different things about the glass. David is better at remembering that than I am. So I might let him just keep doing that. And I just keep asking him, hey, what is this, Dave? <laughs> and then I have a little collection of these um and this was on a dollar table it's a little plastic cake toppers but i love the little girls the ceramic girls on the phone i like the bigger ones um, i have one two three four five six of those and then a few of these the cake toppers and then some smaller ones of guys playing records um, and i think some of my cake toppers are record players you know them playing records and not talking on the phone and some dancers anyways that's gonna be a collection i'll show you later <laughs> but if i do have multiple of these i'll probably um, end up selling them but i can't remember what i have and of what so i end up picking them up anyways because i just love them um here's a little ephemera i'm trying to think of the name ephemera um a birthday card for your husband and I like this one because one oh it was signed I didn't think it was it was cute because it's like a little book it's a cute little book so this one it does have signed in it here I picked up this book the name just grabbed me shotgun wedding um, and I think it's an act play, a play act, act play. It has their name, so, you know, they read out the skit. So I think it's a, one of those skit um, plays. I just saw the name and kind of flipped through it and then just grabbed it. So I thought it'd be fun for ephemera anyways. I have to read this and see what that's about, actually. <laughs> that's me, I just grab and go. Sometimes, you know, that's how I get in trouble sometimes, too, because I pick up something and don't know if something's wrong with it. Well, like this. Nothing's wrong with this one, but isn't it beautiful? I just love it and how it cuffs over the orange. It's a like a cabbage row leaf. It has little flowers in there, and I just love how it gets darker right here in this corner, but I love how it cuffs over like that isn't that pretty it does have a maker on the back and i'm sitting here where i can't read nothing i can't see that it is dark right here nor do i have glasses or anything to magnify and i hope you are seeing all this okay though because i got my ring light on but i thought this was a very pretty dish I need to set this down where I will find it later. And then I got this little planter, but it's dirty. I need to clean it up. I thought this is a fun little piece. You can use it as a little trinket dish too. Well, I don't know. This feels really rough. Like I'm not going to get that out. I don't know what that is in there. Cause it was on one of their junk tables, but I saw potential in it. It is a USA pottery. Very nice, I see potential. Don't you? Don't you see it can be something fabulous? Don't you? Here's something David picked up. It's French. It is dirty. It needs to be clean. It says it's French. David's liking these old jars. Got it needs to be clean, wash. It's got sticker residue in it. What does that say? Design pat. Design pat. So February 23-15 says on the bottom of it. Cute little jar. 
And then, you know, you know every cell needs what? Needs what, y'all? <laughs> every cell needs a fairy lamp. I don't know which brand this is. It's a cubic, it's not cubics. That's what I meant to say. It's a little bit different. I forget the other maker. I haven't had this one. I always have the cubics ones. So I'll have to look this one up again and see what this is. But little fairy lamp. Now, this is a fairy lamp, right? It looks just like the cubics one with a different design. But they had this little glass spoon in there. So surely they don't think that goes with it, or am I wrong, and this goes with it. <laughs> I think it's a fairy lamp, and this was just in there. So we got this little glass shell spoon with a fairy lamp. And then David picked up some berry bows, his Manhattan um, line his, that he collects. These are the dishes. David collects dishes, and this is the line he collects. He found three of them. I don't think we have berry bows. This one is actually, what's a Parker? Something Parker? I should know this because he does this all the time. This is what I'm talking about. Words are hard. Is it just Parker? Crickets. I can't remember. But y'all know what I'm talking about. The Manhattan style. But there's another uh, maker that made these as well. So, you got to know your stuff, like David says. You got to know. He knows. And this is the Parker one, he said. Anyways. So, we usually keep those because I guess we're going to have the whole dishware before long. The whole line. <laughs> oh, and then. Mm -hmm. Look at these fun little guys. Aren't those fabulous? I love them. Do y'all know what these are from? They're flat on the back. They have little hooks on there or loops. These is, are some stuff that you would find on um, the macrame, macrame, macrame plant holders or something like that. I just love the colors. The colors are just so fabulous. Um, but not only do I have two, I have three. But I thought you could uh, still put a wire in here and hang them on the wall. That would look so fun. Yeah, that would look fun. That would look fun in my kitchen. <laughs> I know. You're all like, quit taking everything, Tammy. And then David picked up this pipe. We used to have a the pipe holder and a bunch of pipes early on. But I think he finally sewed all those. I haven't seen those in a long time. So those are also, this is like a metal or something. A light metal anyways. And somebody used it. It was very used, but different. Different type of pipe. Well, speaking of mugs here. Now I collect these white mugs. A lot of them are milk glass. A lot of them are just white ceramic mugs. But these mugs with the prints on them, they're usually flowers. I just showed you my one of my last haul, uh, haul or two ago. Um, I found a whole four set of mushrooms. Oh my God, I just love them. And aren't, this is adorable here. I love the bugs. Love it. Love, love, love the bugs. And it was a single one, which is fine by me because I have a little collection of different prints. So, yep, I said it, collection, yep. So that is going in my collection. Um, well, here's a mug. I'm trying to think what I'm gonna do with this. I wanna do some kind of fun giveaway for all you um, couch potatoes out there. Now, it does have a flaw to it, but I didn't even know that it had a flaw until I went to buy it. And I was like, oh, well, give it to me anyways, because I just had a fun idea with it that all of you people out there is sitting there having your coffee and watching YouTube, watching us on YouTube. I just thought it was fun and I wanted to do something fun with it. So I got to sit here and think about that for a while. You'll hear about it again later. It's the uh, homemaker. 
I just love that one. This is how I imagine us when we're sitting there first thing in the morning with our coffee, trying to wake up and watching YouTube. <laughs> it is dirty. I gotta wash it. But I'm gonna think of something fun to do with this for y'all. Some kind of fun giveaway. You got any ideas? Put it in the comments below. How can I do a giveaway with this? You probably don't want it. Are you probably okay with it? Well, let's see. Where was... You can't feel the crack or anything, but it has a hairline where it crack in here somewhere. Where'd it go? It's hard to see. It's inside there. You don't feel it. Or maybe, maybe I do slightly. I don't feel it here at all. So, anyways. It's just something fun. I want to, I'm going to do it as a giveaway anyways. Before I knew it had a hairline crack. That's what, that was my plan. Um, what else? Let's, I'm going to show you jewelry real quick. Oh, wait, let me show you this. This is not a jewelry. This is a fun little flower, little plastic flower, trash-tastic flower. But see something looking back at you? This is something Vinny may love. I don't know if I can put it in the hole good. I don't think you could see it. Anyways, in there, inside of there is a pinup. It's a picture pinup. And she's sitting on a white polar bear rug. That's all I can say about it. So, I just thought it was fun. So, I grabbed one little flower red pinup. And it's tasteful, Vinny style. So, just so you know, it's not as bad as that book that's showing dirty cartoonies. Um, okay, let's see. Some jewelry I got. I know, I don't know. If this is just plastic, I doubt it's Bakelite. So it's probably just a plastic bracelet. Then we got a pair of earrings. I just thought they looked nice. A little nice pair of earrings. And now I got this because, oh, it is a pin too. Ah, I thought it was just a necklace. I got this because I had pins. I had a pin to match it. But it's also a brooch as well. Look, I got a smiley face necklace brooch. Isn't that fun? This is a going in my window, in my window, in my window. Flowers in my window. If y'all haven't seen that yet, y'all need to look it up. <laughs> I'm gonna do a video on it. That's That was gonna be my first, or is it my second? Probably gonna be my second video I do. And that goes in my window. Now, some of these I might sell because I have like a duplicate of it. But these are the enamel flower brooches that I picked up out there. Isn't that fun? Then we have this one. I thought it was really neat. I guess it's a butterfly. Yeah, it's a butterfly, I think. Back. Sorry, I cannot tell in here. The lights are bad. Then we have this cute little hat brooch. Isn't that cute? Picked up this necklace. It's a short one, like a choker one. Eh, I can't, I don't like short necklaces, like choker necklaces. But I thought that was really cute. And it's got a hook to hold. 
Here's another little flower brooch. This is stones in there. That one's really pretty. This is not the style that I put in my window though. And then we have this cute little bracelet with stones in it that dangles. Here is another flower brooch. I don't think I have this color. See, it lifts a little bit away from, it outlines, but I have several in this color. I don't think I have it in green. And then this star brooch, starburst like brooch. And then I have a cameo that is also can be used as a necklace. And I got this uh, silver bangle. That was really nice. I used to love these bangles, but I used to wear them on my left hand and they just aggravated me. A bangle aggravates me when I'm writing and stuff. And then I got this one. Um, I got them because they're pretty, y'all. Don't know nothing about them. I just picked up what I liked. Um, and then we have this one. It's a necklace. Is it a necklace or is it a bracelet? No, it's a necklace. Gonna be like a choker style. But that's not all, because that came with clip-on earrings. And they're clip-ons. There is a name on that one. And I can't read it. And this one, another necklace. I love the red background of it. And it's like a choker with screw back earrings. They have the screw backs. And there's the other earring and the necklace. And then I got a ring, go tone ring. I like that stone in there with matching clip-on earrings. Very nice, and they are clip-on. Go tone. And then we have this, uh, makeup powder container, what do you call them? Mirror. And I feel like this opens right here, but I couldn't figure out how, to, how it opens. So, I mean, I don't know if it does. I feel like it does. Oh, there it goes. I couldn't figure it out. There it is. And it looks like there's powder still in there. Is that powder? Or maybe not, maybe that's the bottom after you use all the powder. Very cute little mirror set. And it's about this big. And then I got the like glass chopstick for your hair, right? I think that's what they're for. And they came in this cute little box. They look like marble chalk, uh, chop stick hair ties, you know, where you twist your hair up, come in this cute little box. So, 
that's my jewelry. But I'm not done. No. I'm not done. <sighs> I got three fabulous things left. Oh, see? Fabulous. Oh, wait. Four. Sorry. Four. Yes. I almost forgot this back here. So talk about your macrame. I got this. Is not your typical plant holder, but it would hold a plant if you wanted it to. I have to untwist this, y'all. But it's a table, side table. Here's the glass. This is a glass if you can, can't see it. It goes in here. Hold on, please. Let me see if I can do it. Ta-da! I did it! Look at that. Love it. I love it. Now, I want you to know, I have a huge one like this that's probably four times bigger than this one that I still have. And the glass is big and I hate shipping it. So I don't want to show y'all because I'd have to ship it. But look at that. I love this one. This was a small miniature one. This is so cute. You know, you put a plant on here and hang. So, I just love this one. Fun, fun, fun. There's that. Then, I gotta show you this. This is my first one to find in the wild. And it needs some work. But it does work. But the chain is kind of rusty. You know, kind of have a rusty light chain. So I can change that out easily. The wires in there that, that hold the, the balls on is rusted, but it's the original wood piece. The balls themselves need to be polished up. But oh my God, I finally got me one. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up. I, you know, as much work it needed, this is where I start. I start small and then I work my way up to the big ones because I'm so 70s. <laughs> I'm such a Carol Brady. <laughs> Don't you love my balls? I love them. I love my grapes. So, yes, needs work. But we're going to, and they're orange. So, I'm going to see what I can do. I had a friend that tells me, you know, told me how to take care of it. So, I mean, to re pair it so I may take my time and do what he says but I don't know I'm excited about it I couldn't help it I know it's rusty but I love them oh, that was heavy holding okay two more magnificent things which one do you want to see first because Every cell needs a fairy lamp. I've looked and looked for this style and I cannot find it. So I don't know what this is. It is a three piece. It is a three piece. See the stars on it? It's a beautiful green. I haven't found the maker on this one yet, but I just love it. Now, we don't, we do have a small collection of fairy lamps. Our fairy lamps are all blue. Different styles, all blue. And then that's one set of fairy lamps that I have. Then the other set of fairy lamps that I'm trying to collect and I have four so far are the Viking Owls. And those are the only fairy lamps I collect. So I will be bringing this to a sale. So we have that. And then these fabulous things. I've been getting lucky not, you know, this year on these. Is it this year? I think one set was last year. But um, I'm not trying to collect them. And I told David, I was like, well, maybe I should collect them. Because now this makes six that I have. Now these are two of the same color. They're two of the same color. So I really don't need both of them. I still haven't decided if I'm going to collect all of them. But you, if you saw my Instagram picture, and I, I think I posted it on 
YouTube. I have to go back and look in my um, my uh, community page. But I found some more decanters. Now this one isn't as tall as the one I found, the two that I found in Canton. Those were magnificent, really tall, fun. But this is a smoky color. And there is two of them. So I'm sure you saw me pass these in my haul video. And I got them. So fun, fun, fun. I'm still debating. I got time. Nobody's inquired about them anyway. So, you know, I'm kind of fine with keeping them. I never collected glass before now, y'all. Did not collect glass. Then we started with all these swung bases that are above me. Can you see them? They're up there on, on top of this cabinet. <laughs> um, I have to show you that someday when I get to it. And, and that was it. Alrighty, y'all tell me, which was your favorite? Should I start collecting decanters? Um, what other questions did I have for you? I don't remember. See how, see how my mind just forgets? <laughs> I know I had more questions for you. Got something in my eye. Um, so anyways, anyhow, if you aren't already, consider subscribing to our channel and join us for shop alongs, live hauls, and live sales. Not live hauls. Well, I have had a few. Um, haul videos and live sales. Um, and before you leave, give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. It helps the channel. And until next time, y'all. Hope to see you on Wednesday. Bye for now.